Is it possible to forgive a partner after an affair? Particularly an affair that lasted for eight long years with the transgressions taking place even within the sacred confines of your home? Imagine the shock of discovering that your partner, your confidant, has been living a double life right under your nose. The person you loved and trusted has been involved in an extramarital affair. One that spanned eight years, involved her boss and took place in your very home. This is no fleeting infidelity. Eight years symbolize countless lies, dodged suspicions and broken promises. The betrayal burrows deep, leaving you with feelings of confusion and hurt that seem impossible to navigate. Your home, once a sanctuary, now tainted by the ghost of clandestine encounters. The revelation is like a punch to the gut, leaving you winded and questioning everything you thought you knew about your relationship, your partner, and even yourself. The question that plagues the mind is, what next? How do you move forward from such a betrayal? The first step towards healing is acknowledging and processing your emotions. In the wake of such a profound revelation, it's essential to allow yourself to feel the full spectrum of emotions. Anger, sadness, confusion, and a profound sense of betrayal may wash over you in waves. It's important to remember that these feelings are not only natural, but also necessary for your healing process. Don't bottle up these emotions. Instead, express them in a safe and supportive environment. This could be with a trusted friend, a family member, or a professional therapist. These individuals can provide a listening ear, a shoulder to lean on, and potentially offer a fresh perspective on your situation. Therapy in particular can be an invaluable tool. A qualified therapist can guide you through your emotional journey, helping you to understand and cope with your feelings. They can also provide strategies for effective communication and conflict resolution, which will be crucial in the coming days. Remember, it's perfectly normal to feel hurt, betrayed, and confused. It's all part of the process of healing and finding your way forward. Once you've allowed yourself the space to process your emotions, it's time to communicate, to navigate through the stormy seas of betrayal and hurt. The compass of open and honest dialogue is indispensable. It's essential to understand why the affair happened. What were the underlying issues? Was there a missing link that led your partner astray? This understanding, however disheartening, is crucial in deciding the future of your relationship. Likewise, it's equally important to express your own feelings, your fears, and your concerns. Bottling up emotions will only add fuel to the fire of resentment. Remember that it's okay to be vulnerable, to be open about your pain. This is not a sign of weakness, but rather an expression of your humanity. Lastly, ascertain if there's a genuine desire from both parties to repair the relationship. Is there a shared willingness to invest time, effort, and patience to rebuild trust? Open communication is the key to understanding and eventually healing. With emotions acknowledged and communication lines open, it's time to ponder about the future. Reflection is our next stop on this journey. It's time to look back on the history of your relationship, dig deep into the shared memories, the moments of joy, the instances when you felt most connected, and yes, the times of struggle too. Ask yourself, are both of you willing to work on rebuilding trust? This isn't about a simple apology or a promise to change. It's about consistent actions over time that show a commitment to growth and healing. It's about proving that the relationship is more valuable than the mistakes made. Remember, this decision is deeply personal and should be based on your feelings, circumstances, and ultimately what you believe is right for you. It's not a decision to be rushed, nor one to be influenced by external opinions. The decision to stay or leave is a personal one made after careful consideration and introspection. In the midst of this emotional turmoil, it's imperative to consider the well-being of the children involved. It's a delicate balance, navigating personal feelings and the needs of our little ones. They didn't ask for this situation, yet they are profoundly impacted by it. It's crucial to shield them from the emotional storm as much as possible. This doesn't mean hiding the truth, but rather presenting it in an age-appropriate way that respects their feelings and their need for stability. If a decision to separate is made, it's essential to develop a co-parenting plan that places the needs of the children at the forefront. This includes maintaining their routines, ensuring they have access to both parents, and providing them with a safe space to express their feelings. Remember, children are resilient. With love, patience, and communication, they can navigate this change. Whatever the decision, the well-being of the children should always be paramount.